right, guys, welcome back to Slob Squad. We're here at my parents' property. They got 27 acres, and we're gonna ride around here and see what we can find. Let's get going. piece of junk forgot to plug in the CDI what a freaking dummy and I just cut my kill switch because I thought that's what it was man yeah, these days I don't take advice from anybody who will tell me how to do it if they never even did it right these days I don't waste a minute of my time reminiscing on regrets of the past that's a different life these days I don't need nobody's validation these days I don't need nobody's invitation these days I don't tell nobody what I'm doing until I get it right. Yeah, these days I've been wide awake, I never sleep late. Got a lot to do, I treat a Sunday like a weekday. Do it for my son, set the table, I need three plates. Have my cake and eat it, baby, don't forget a cheesecake. Got it, yeah, they know I got it. Confidence contagious, so the ones around me caught Oh, yes, dude. Holy crap. Oh, man. Almost hit me in the freaking face. That was so sketchy. Wow. It's so. We messed around a little over there. We didn't find too much, but we see a pretty big hill right there. And I've actually hiked this hill when I was hunting. So I am gonna try to climb up on the bike and kind of mess around with the, with the hills a little bit. So let's go. steep trail is not holding up so well my back just wants to slip out it's a lot for a lot steeper than it uh, looks in the video probably Whew. I wanted to make it up there but I don't know if I'm gonna make it did a front flip over there probably didn't see going down the hill and it's so steep that just from all from the steepness of it just lifted the front and i had to jump off the bike pretty good stuff Mike is taking some abuse today. Holy crap. These uh, rocks and logs and stuff ain't helping so much for a bit bike. Had some blue smoke come out that time. Watch. 
it's not making it easy. The bike not running very well. These tires are actually pretty freaking bald. I should have just bought new tires. All right, I gotta make it over there. Gotta, got to do it. There's like no run here. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut that way and try to go up. We'll see how bad it is. <laughs> over there oh, I wish I'd have my phone I kind of need a, a getaway plan those things are dangerous you probably can't see but I sit up on that rock and I hunt down there I'll try to zoom it in, but it's gonna be blurry. Straight ahead, moose. Big boy. Well, this one got big um, antlers or anything, whatever they're called for moose. But big boy, let me get the heck out of here. Surprised by the noise that the moose is not going anywhere. expert so there's no way I'm gonna try to hop on here it's kind of a stupid idea because I ain't making it to that thing that's for sure oh why did God die though My balance ain't good. Whew. I'm getting exhausted. It's kind of hard out here. We need to go find some legit trails and do some real adventures. was uh, some uh, interesting terrain and this is going to be good preparation actually for when we go and try that impossible uh pit bike trail of the link right above so you can see what exactly i'm talking about if you haven't seen the video you guys should definitely go watch it because that was probably the hardest trail i've ever done in my life literally every step of the way got harder and harder and harder there's always some sort of challenge that i wasn't expecting and me and peter attempted this i think three times 
and we could not we made it further and further every time but we could not make it any further there's like rivers and everything so if you want to see some intense pit biking watch that video but this is going to be kind of preparation for the season to get us kind of uh into that i guess skill level to be able to go back out there and try that trail again because that trail is going to take everything we got and i'm probably going to end up having to replace the tires on the back because i mean they ain't terrible they're like 50 percent but if we're gonna try that trail this these tires aren't gonna do it so i have to go get some serious tires and yeah but i'm gonna drop off this ramp we got the snowmobile parked in the garage ready for the winter in the shop and we brought two of our pit bikes back to the garage and one of them is the one we jumped into the lake video will be right above as well really cool video you guys got to watch that but we're gonna try to get that bike looking good running good and that way we'll have like five bikes to ride so if anybody wanted to ride there we go we got bikes so i want to get a closer look at the moose kind of scared i'm not gonna lie we got this the spray with the stuff just in case last thing i need is a moose charge there he is right there right over there Not as close as i'm willing to get because this freaking head is as big as that tree yeah i'm getting the heck out of here screw that i'm not messing with no moose oh, freaking stomp a hole through my chest no thanks Let's get the heck out of here yeah. these days i've been wide awake i never stop